What's up guys, Cliff with The Sunday Drive, and today we're gonna to be showing you how to remove the overhead console in your GMC truck. So welcome back to the channel, guys. We are in the process of removing the antenna on my truck, because we're actually wrapping the truck. Um, and as part of accessing that antenna, we're removing the overhead console. So we figured we would show you guys how to remove that, and let's do that real quick. So what you're gonna do is pop down the sunglasses holder, and then you're going to grab the plastic right here, right behind your toggle switch for the interior lights. And you're gonna pry it down like so. All right, whole bunch of little clips that hold it in place. It sounded bad, but none of those broke. Now there are screws up in here, and apparently for some people, these screws rattle loose over time. I haven't had that problem, but if you're having a rattle, you could fix that while you're working on this at the same time. It appears that it's held in by a whole bunch of the same T15 torques. So I'm seeing two of those. Oh, this is even smaller. All right, we got some T10s up in here. Those screws released. You're just gonna pull down. All right, so this is the clip. There are two clips at the front that you're gonna have to release. So that we released the one, took a pry tool like this. You could probably just pull down on this, but after the clip kind of broke on the A pillar, I'm trying to be a little more cautious. So if you get your pry tool up in there and then twist. So these are the big metal clips you gotta release. There's one on both of the front corners. All right, to release the main harness, you're gonna squeeze these two tabs together, like that. And then you're gonna lift up on this. Make sure you're holding your thing so it doesn't fall. And you're gonna rock this down like that. And then wiggle the connection out. And now your center overhead console is free. All right, guys, so that is how you remove the overhead console in your GM truck. Hope the video was helpful. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below, and we'll see you back in the next video.